Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Mac Daddy 1911A1 here with the Shade Tree Survivalist. I'm doing another quick video for you guys so you guys can understand some of the uh, uh, parameters of using a semi automatic handgun. All right, now the examples I'm showing you are two different types of 1911 magazine. There are uh, three or four different versions of the 1911 magazine and you may or may not know this and so you need to be aware. The critical item on any semi-automatic handgun and especially the 1911 that you need to look for is this right here, your feed lips. All right, from here to where the bend, the bend begins, okay? What is critical about that, okay? That is how long the cartridge is retained by the magazine. Once it gets back past this point, the cartridge is generally, the bullet is generally starting up the feed ramp on the frame and on into the barrel. And once it releases or reaches this point, it is released by the magazine and captured by the, what? Extractor of the 1911. It is a controlled feed design. It is not just pushed loosely, banging back and forth up into uh, the chamber and then the extractor snaps over. That is not in OT how it works. It is a controlled feed design. When the magazine releases it, the extractor captures it in the extractor groove, okay? There are four, uh, at least four different magazines in this area right here. Forget the freaking follower, forget the spring, forget the the amount uh, that the damn thing will hold that has nothing to do with it. What matters is the length of the feed lip right here. If you buy a three inch barrel version and take one of these magazines to stick in it, it will not run. It holds the, mag the, the cartridge too damn long. A four inch, four and a quarter inch commander style and or five or six inch model will, these magazines will run flawlessly in it, okay? You have the original GI style that had just a touch longer feed lip. You have the modified that was manufactured in 1947-48 uh, for the Colt Combat Commander that's a touch shorter and has a slightly different follower. The timing is critical. If it releases the bullet too fast, it will nosedive into the ramp and stop, okay? If it releases it too early, the extractor may not grab a hold of it, and then when it hits the chamber, if indeed it hits the chamber it snaps the freaking extractor over it that could uh, spring it out of position or break it okay so whatever gun you buy if it's new in the box take one of your magazines with you when you go to purchase a new magazine and purchase one where you measure from here to here all right if it's a little shorty gun a little three inch or smaller you want to order magazines specifically for that type of gun. Now, there's a very short feed lip version for this type bullet right here. That is a wad cutter. Okay? There's a wad cutter with the truncated, very sharp, steep angle. It's a lead bullet generally. These were cheap to make. Okay, they're they're cast bullets. You can make them yourself, but you have to have a you have to it has to release very quickly because if that lead hits the ramp, it's going to stop. It's going to jam up. All right. So they had very short feed lips, but the gun had to be modified in order to shoot these correctly. I don't shoot them. The damn thing is designed for that. Two hundred thirty grain round nose ball ammo just like I'll carry it in these magazines right here, okay? This is what it's designed to shoot. The newer ones have been modified. The barrel and so forth have been really polished so that hollow points will work. You saw the Colt Combat Unit's barrel. It's got the dip in it. It's designed for that. But if you, if you cannot get your 1911 to run flawlessly with the 230 grain ball ammo, there is something bigger, there's a something bigger problem than, than just a weak spring or something of that nature. All right. But your, your feed lips, all right, that's critical. If you buy a new 1911, take one of your magazines with you and buy the gun, the magazine it is designed for. Leave the ones for the wad cutters and so forth 
alone get the uh, standard ones unless it's the three inch barrel version this is an fyi for your information video just like the previous one that i just put up on the skint bullets okay i hope this is helpful remember the length of the feed lip on a new magazine should equal well this is the new magazine should equal the length of the feed lip on the magazine that came with the firearm okay thank you very much for watching this is mac daddy 1911a1 with the shade tree survival shall take care think ladies and gentlemen use your brain it's your best tool